Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video I wanted to bring to your attention a bug that is currently in the game. Now with patch 5.6 there was a little bit of an exploit that was introduced and basically one of the companion vendors that sells the rank 5 companion gifts. Now this is not the traditional vendor which sells you know, the blue ones for 5,000 credits and the purple ones for 10,000 credits. This is the other vendor that's in the same area which sells it for those artifact fragments that you can get when you're sending your companions out on crafting missions and basically the exploit was for three companion gifts uh, you could buy them straight up for no price whatsoever absolutely for free and then sell them right back to the vendor for credits and so obviously that was an exploit it was generating credits for absolutely no work and so Bioware did implement a minor fix and they said they were going to take action against anyone who um, used that exploit but the current bug that's in the game right now is those companion gifts there are three companion gifts that are rank 5 level artifact level okay so they normally would cost 10,000 credits they will now only cost you 960 credits so that is over 10 times less in price and that is basically why this is a bug that you're going to want to take advantage of as soon as possible now I do want to repeat that this has been confirmed as not being an exploit the original exploit was that you could buy it for absolutely zero credits and although when you look at the vendor it will show no price if you write if you uh, right click on it it will actually charge you 960 credits anyway so it is not an exploit it is a reduced price on the companion gifts however Eric Musco the community manager said that they are planning a quick fix for this in the near future and so you're gonna want to take advantage of this as soon as possible so not an exploit, you won't get banned, you can take advantage of the cheap companion gifts. Now there's only three of them that you're going to be really interested in. These are the rank 5 artifact level. That's the Imperial Memorabilia, the Memoir of the Unification Wars, and then the Green Mind Link device. Now they're basically three different types. One of them is the Cultural Artifact, the other one is Courting, and the other one is Imperial Memorabilia. So what that means is you're only going to want to use them for specific companions that really love that companion gift because that's the way you're going to get the most influence. So based off of Delphi's guide online, uh, we can look at which companions those would be useful for. So for example, if you're looking at the Imperial Memorabilia, this is the uh, uh, account of the discovery of Korriban. Uh, this will be very useful if you want to level up Arkan, Darth Mar, Loken, Hemdil, Shavizla, Talos, Viroa, can't pronounce half of these, Reyna Temple, Malavai Quinn, Elara Dorn, and the Wampa. Okay, so that's what the Imperial Memorabilia is going to be most useful for because those are the companions that love that gift. Uh, in terms of the cultural artifact, we have the new Darth Hexid companion, so it's a perfect opportunity to get her up to 50 very, uh, very cheaply. Uh, we have Empress Asina, we have Lana, 2VR8, Akgal, C2N2, Talos, Vector, Kemval, Jaysa, and Nadia Grell. Now unfortunately with the courting one, I have actually just was checking Reddit and it seems as though this is actually a bugged companion gift and it's been bugged for a long time which means even though you're supposed to get influence with certain companions, you do not get it. So this is basically a useless companion gift. It's only useful if you have Doc as a companion because it works on him but it doesn't work on the other companion. So totally ignore the companion gift but look at the cultural artifact and the imperial memorabilia. Use this list I've just given you. See if you have any of these companions that are below influence rank level 50 and use these cheap companion gifts to get them up it is the perfect opportunity to give you guys a little sample of just how um, awesome this is uh, currently according to the Delphi guide it takes 481 rank 5 gifts to get your companion from 1 to 50 in terms of influence level now that will cost you right now with the cheap companion gifts only 500,000 credits guys that is insanely cheap for, to get your uh, companions to level 50 uh, after this is fixed it will then cost you 4.8 to 5 million credits so this is much much cheaper around 10 times cheaper so you know please take advantage of this it is the prime opportunity especially for those of you guys who got Darth Hexed now is the time to do this it's also worth noting that to be the most efficient, uh, what you're going to want to do is unlock the legacy perks. Now these do also cost uh, a little bit of credits, but it's, it's not too expensive. It's definitely worth it. So if you check your legacy tab, there are two legacy perks you're going to want to fully unlock. One of them is called uh, the Legacy of Altruism. That is basically where it increases the amount of influence that is gained from companion gifts. So unlock all three tiers there. And then all the way at the bottom, there is the uh, Legacy of Progression or something. Or... Pr or um, 
promptness that's the one it is it's promptness and basically what that means is you're going to give your companion gifts much quicker so the activation time is much less now that is insanely awesome in terms of quality of life because it is just too long giving like 500 companion gifts to one companion unless you have that legacy perk unlocked so you're going to want to do that as well and then after you've done that go ahead and give your um go ahead and give your companion gifts to your companion and get them up to 50. Now also as a side note, if you if you want to know how to get Darth Maar and Empress Asina, because keep in mind those are companions that were kind of temporary companions. You got them during a chapter, but then uh, they were gone after the end of the chapter. And so what you're going to want to do in order to get them as companions and increase their influence is basically um, start the chapter through the replayable chapters and then leave midway after you get them as a companion. And then they'll stay with you as a companion until you either abandon or complete the chapter. And um, in case you're wondering, you know if you increase their influence to 50 and then you lose them because you abandon the mission or, or finish the chapter will they retain their influence I believe the current understanding is yes they do retain their influence on that character now don't quote me on that I don't want you guys to waste your money and time um, I, I would say maybe do a little bit of research but from what I've heard from other people they said that you do retain your influence but if I'm wrong feel free to correct me in the comment section don't take my word as, as perfect I'm not 100% sure on that because I haven't tried it personally but I do think that's the understanding. So that's how you can get uh, companions like Darth Maar uh, and Princess Sina um, and take advantage of the cheap companion gifts for them. Now finally, I do want to mention one quick thing. This is actually an opportunity to maybe make a quick buck. And what I mean by that is, keep in mind, these are things that normally sell from the vendors for 10,000 credits. Now what a lot of people will do is if they get these um, gifts from other sources like the command crates they'll sell them on the gtn for less than 10,000 credits and it's almost guaranteed to sell because people who want to use these don't really buy from the vendors especially if they know that the gtn is selling it for less so we already know that these will 100% go back to the normal return price of 10,000 credits right now they only cost 960 so it might be an opportunity to stack up on these buy as many as possible and then sell them in the future on the gtn for like 5,000 6,000 credits if we check the GTN prices right now, they're pretty cheap, you know, they're like 4,000 to 6,000 credits. Now that's still already a huge profit considering, you know, depending on how many of these you buy. But keep in mind that these are right now the reduced prices. In the future, we'll probably see them a little bit higher. It's not the biggest profit if you buy only a few of them, right? If you just buy like 10, then you're only making like a few thousand credits in profit. But if you go ahead and buy 10,000 of these and then, you know, take the time to actually sell them on the GTN, you will make, you know, millions upon millions of credits in profit. So it could be an opportunity there. So to repeat, you buy the cheap companion gifts, you sit on them, you wait for them to return to the normal price. Then you go ahead and sell these on the GTN for, a, you know, three, four, five, maybe six or 7,000 credits. And uh, depending on, you know, whatever the market's going for on your server. But the point is, either Either way you will make a profit and if you buy like you know thousands upon thousands of stacks of these you will make uh, millions of credits in profit I would say stay away from the courting ones because obviously those are bugged and so those aren't going to be as popular as or as profitable as the imperial memorabilia or the cultural artifact ones I would say maybe you're going to want to look at the cultural artifact ones a little bit more because people will be looking to get their Darth Hexed to level 50 so that might be a little bit more popular right now in any case, that does conclude the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tip and trick. It really is an awesome bug. I'm hoping BioWare doesn't fix it too quickly so it gives an opportunity for you guys to really go out and take advantage of this. I know I'm getting my, uh, I'm gonna get Arkin up to level 50, Darth Maul up to level 50, and a few other companions who I really like using. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section and how you guys are using this tip to your own advantage, and I will see you guys in the next one.